Posterior cervicothoracic fusion is the technique of joining the bones in the back of the cervical and thoracic spine. Over time, these bones fuse together to form an internal brace and stabilize the cervicothoracic spine, reducing painful motion and or spinal cord compression. The benefit of this procedure to the patient is stabilization, possible reduction in pain, reduction in continuing disc degeneration, and maintaining stability after a laminectomy or facetectomy. The posterior cervicothoracic procedure begins with you being placed under anesthesia, positioned on your belly, and draped. An x-ray is then taken of your spine to identify the location of the operative levels. An incision is created over the treatment area at the midline of the back of the neck. At this point, a laminectomy or facetectomy is performed if needed. These are surgical procedures where some removal of impinging bone takes place in case direct spinal cord or nerve decompression is necessary. Next, instrumentation is inserted to provide stabilization at the indicated levels of your spine. Posterior fixation hook, screw, and rod systems are the most common instrumentation used in this surgery. They increase stability and rate of fusion. Screws or hooks will be placed and then rods will be contoured and inserted to fit the space. The rods will be secured in place with locking screws. Once instrumentation has been secured and bone material, either autographed or allograft, has been placed, fusion can occur. This model shows the abilities of a cervicothoracic fusion system. Your surgery will be customized depending on your needs and the affected levels of your spine, so the extent of the instrumentation needed may vary.